Welcome back. You're live with Expresso. Thank you so much for tuning in on this beautiful Wednesday morning. Let's inspire you just a little bit in the extreme world of competitive motorsport. I'm going to ask you a question. Is a five-year-old too young to pick as a surefire winner? Well, young motocross enthusiast Ethan Williamson wasn't waiting around to be picked. From the day he first saw the sport, he has been laser-focused on becoming a champion. And just three years on, he is representing his country. Currently leading the South African Championship this spring, Ethan was asked to ride for South Africa at the FIM International Africa Motocross of African Nations, which he won. My dad showed me motocross on TV and I just really wanted to do it. I keep on begging him for a bike and then when I was five, I got a bike and then five and a half, I did my first race. You know, I think it's about Ethan having the dreams and hopes. I always say to Ethan, does he want to ride? Does he want to race? And it has to be his choice. Um, and I think that's why he's achieved as much as he has. His future dreams are to go race overseas and go race internationally. And although he's eight years old, you know, I think I need to support that dream. We spend a lot of time away from home and it takes a commitment from the entire family. So not just from Ethan and myself, but mom and I have two other children. So, you know, we're on the road quite a lot with them. The fitness is insane in the sport. You have to train, put in so much work, your heart rate's got to be so high when you're riding. Ethan's putting in all the hard work that he needs to do, and that's why he's getting the results that he's getting in the races. I love training with him. The best feeling is if we've been working all weekend and the next weekend's a race, and we come to the weekend, we just absolutely smash it and just win the race. You know, it's the best feeling. I have to work extra hard at school because I'm always traveling and I have to do reading in the car, I have to do math in the car. Balancing studies with dedication to his sport, Ethan's already competing in other countries and a championship winning career is surely on the cards. Just how awesome is that? Please welcome the recently crowned TRP, South African National Motocross Champion. He is a champion and he's only eight years old. Ethan Williamson and his father, Warren Williamson. <laughs> welcome to it, gentlemen. I, I would imagine, Ethan, you're used to the applause, you know, being yeah. a champion. Yeah. <laughs> um, welcome to it. Congratulations, Warren. Thank awesome you. to meet you, man. Great Guys, thank you. you so much for coming down. Hopefully you enjoyed that little kind of expose on your life. Yeah. It looks so cool when we see you out there doing it. There are so many questions I want to ask someone because you are young and I mean that with all due respect But you're a little guy still and you're doing very big big things and I'm sure inspiring a lot of people along the way But you've had a stellar season dude. How, how do you think about your season? How are you feeling about where you are right now? Um, I'm feeling great because I mean like I I worked so hard for this my whole life. I've been working for this. It's really hard to do it. Um, I have no doubt, man. I've, I've just been on the back of a bike a couple of times, but to do it at the at the the level that you're doing it and compete and remain focused, that's a lot for a child to take on board. Warren, I've got to ask you, how, how grueling is this process for the parents, <laughs> never mind the child? <laughs> I, I think that there's sort of a lot of aspects that go into it, and especially, you know, our job as parents is to bring up a great young boy yeah. um, or young man. And uh, so at the moment, it's sort of finding that balance of still letting him be a kid but yet he takes his motocross really seriously. Um, so, and then, you know, with regards to the travel, and it's a big camp family commitment. We've got, you know, two other kids that have to travel around the country with us. Um, it's 14 rounds that we have to travel around the country for, so it's a lot. Plus, then he also won the uh, Africa Cup of Nations, which meant we had to travel to Zimbabwe with the whole family. So it's a big commitment from everybody in the family. Um, but when it's reaping rewards and you're enjoying it, as much as you are. I think that's the most important thing that you're getting this validation out of it. You don't win every time. It takes a, a long time to get to the point where you, you're starting to get this championship status. But what do you tell yourself on the day? So the last two rounds haven't been as good as the, the start of the season. What do you tell yourself when you don't win? Um, I just say we can work harder the next round or like just stay consistent the whole time and yeah. What makes you so good, dude? What, what makes you better than the next rider? What do you think makes you such a good motocross rider? Um, probably it must be my dad. Aww. Because Aww. He, he, he just teaches me everything 
about motocross. He didn't even ride motocross, and he just knows everything for some reason. <laughs> hey, because he's a dad, man. Because he's a dad. How cool does that make you feel? <laughs> yeah, look, it's amazing, and he, he gives me credit, but it's all him. It really is all him. I mean, he it's his love for the sport. So for me, it has to be about um, his commitment. You know, we wouldn't do it if it wasn't that he loved it and he was so committed to it. So, uh, And we let him be the driver. It's his decision where he goes with the sport. So. So where are you going with the sport? And I'll put this question to both of you. Are you thinking about long-term goals or was it just about enjoying each ride as it comes? Are you, are you going to be an adult world champion? What, what's um, the goal? The goal is to ride for Red Bull KDM and you ride... Heard you heard it. ...in America and Europe, the MXGP and all big races internationally. Um, and that's surely that's the path. It, it, that must be the, the goal if he's yeah. doing it now. Yeah, so we, we try to sort of uh, set short-term goals and then the long-term ones, obviously the big dream for Red Bull KDM and to, to ride international. But as I say, he has to drive it. So uh, we'll take his, follow his lead and just support him. Um, so what's the next goal? So uh, thanks for bringing a bit of your, your <laughs> silverware as well. I would imagine you're running out of space um, in your cabinets at, at home, but what's the next? Um, surely the championship is, is where it's at at the moment. Yeah. So yeah. We, we've very luckily we won the, we finished the championship off last weekend. Um, so we won that, so he's now, as I say, South African and African champion. Um, our next goal, hopefully he moves into a new class next year, so it's gonna be a learning year for us. And that's the thing with the sport. It's, it does take a lot of work work to get to the point. So next year will be a learning year and the following year hopefully South African champion and hopefully world champs. Um, got to level up man, so, got to level up. I've got to ask you because you seem to really have it all together. You, you, you've given me such a cool vibe here, dude. What advice do you have for other young people, maybe not just even in motocross but, but other young guys like yourself wanting to take something seriously and excel? If they want to take something seriously, I mean like they probably, the first thing you have to enjoy it and like you, they can't, you have to, when, when you start it, you can't give up like straight away. You have to carry on Stick doing with it. it, man. Stick with it. Yeah. Well, I hope you're going to stick with it. I hope I'm going to get to see you riding for Red Bull KTM. <clears throat> I hope you guys are listening again. <laughs> uh, but you're setting such an example, uh, awesome example, and, and clearly you guys have, have got all the parent boxes ticked <laughs> as well. So um, congratulations on, on your incredible success. Enjoy that for a while. I know it's all about the training for the next one, but just soak it up for just a second. But we're so proud of you, man. Congratulations. Well Thank done, you. buddy. Yeah. What a yeah. champion. Yeah. Awesome. You can, you can feel really mundane right now as we go into an ad break. We'll see you on the other side.